Okay, so let's get started for today. Um, I'm just going to start with some announcements. So you've seen me critique art. You think about it. You're like, how dare she critique art? And then a couple days pass and you're like, hey, damn, maybe I want her to critique my art. What do I do? How do I get this done? Um, go to istabrak.com and then click on the subreddit icon right here. It'll take you to my subreddit. This is where you can post stuff. This is where I find stuff to critique. This is where I found this to critique. Also, you can also go to my community tab. There's another link there. Join the official Discord server. What do we do here? We do all kinds of stuff together. We hang out on voice almost nightly. We game together. We draw together. Um, we watch movies together, but also most importantly, announcements go out a lot easier because a lot of you aren't getting notifications for when I go live on YouTube. So this is a really, really nice workaround. Um, and I get to know you guys, which is so wonderful. It's just been an amazing thing. I don't know why it took me so long to do it because honestly, I was scared because of past experiences with Discord. Uh, but this has just been the best decision I've made all year. Um, so please uh, join us on Discord. Join us on the subreddit. And uh, upcoming, there will soon be a holiday challenge, a holiday design challenge for our community. Um, so we just had a Harvest Goddess design challenge, which was so much fun. If you haven't seen it, just look at my video history. Um, but I haven't decided what it is yet. We've still got a lot of time. But it most likely will be at the same thing. Lots of textures, lots of um, uh, illustration, lots of planning, blueprinting, thumbnails, etc. Anything to help you build a portfolio because that's what the community challenges are all about. I also stream on Twitch and YouTube now so you can catch me wherever. Because I don't want to focus too heavily on any intensive fundamental stuff, I think I'm just going to take a look at what this piece is and kind of just amp it up a little bit. Just throw my skill at it and see what happens. Um, so let's get started with this one. So before I get started on this, I want to show you the scene that I built in Portrait Studio. It's not too overwhelming. It's very organized. You have two main categories, which is the lighting and the indirect lighting. And the direct lighting um, gives you all kinds of options today. I'm not going to go through them all, but I use the spotlight because I feel like she's just completely out in the open. So if you just saw a water nymph that is also some kind of koi fish or some kind of scaly, you know, it's like a mermaid, but a little bit more on the fish half um, for the lower body. Uh, she's just peered her head out of the water. She doesn't need eyebrows because she's a mermaid. What does she need eyebrows for? Um, and she's magical. It's, it's, it's just, it's, it's screaming like it needs some proper cinematic lighting. It's, it's screaming for some. And when you overexpose a scene, it starts to look like a cheap 90s movie. There's some really, really easy fixes you can do to get the scene to not be so bright. And the first one that I always talk about is the wash. The wash is the time of day, all right? The wash represents the time of day. The more night, the more blue, the more day, the more yellow. That's it, write that back to me. That's a fundamental in lighting with illustrations. We're gonna use it on darken because we don't wanna just put a flat blue down um, and then just keep it like that and lower the opacity because then everything feels really washed out. We wanna use dark so that it only darkens anything that is brighter than it. Um, and it leaves the black alone so we can still maintain some contrast. And you don't have to be a pro at lighting to apply this kind of cinematic lighting. First of all, you need a good reference. And second, you need, without the reference, you need a narrative. Before the reference, you need a narrative. Um, so if you don't have an idea of the story you're telling, you can't give the story out in a couple of words, you really don't know your story yet. But if while you're telling me the story, and I ask you, okay, would you say it's a scene full of mystery? As soon as you say yes, you should know, okay, we need more shadow. We need more shadow work. We need more light playing, we need more cast shadows telling the story. So this extra little bit of light, that, that limiting the light here has made everything feel a little bit more interesting. So what tells a story are two things in your illustrations, the lighting and the camera angle. Okay, those are the two things that tell the story. Fundamentals of illustration, that's your fundamental number one. The two most important storytelling forces in your illustration are the lighting and the, the cinematic framing. Basically the composition of 
how we're looking at the character, what's the angle. The angle of the camera is really what it means, just a fancy way of saying camera angle. So see how the edge of the face was so visible to the light? Why? Was the light just like doing a quick U-turn and showing us the edge of the face? That's not how light works. Okay, so I'm just going to soften that edge a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to delete some of that just to have that little bounce light line. You see that? So I'm going to start off with like the most important color to add, which is the contrast of the eye. Sorry, the most important contrast to add, which is that eyeliner. I'm actually going to make her face feel a little bit more wet. So other things I want to add that will enhance her beauty since we're missing her eye eyebrows. So we have to add a little bit more here and there to enhance it is the little lights on the inside of the eye which actually go a long way to, to adding beauty. I'm going to add a little bit of a of a space in between the crease of the eye. Even though it's an Asian eye we can still throw one in there. And it's as simple as shrinking your brush while you apply more paint on the opacity. And then I'm going to get this light, and that's going to be the light of the next nostril. So the next nostril is actually lit up by the nearby light. So it's lit up like that. Um, so we can grab her head and lower it. And then pretty much just delete around the chin. If I was a mermaid sticking my head out of the water, I'd be kind of starting with my eyes first, right? and then moving out of that. Um, but because we don't want to completely hide her face or make it just about the eyes or try to stay close to the original drawing to some level, um, I'm going to just lower just her chin out, uh, just her chin under the water, so that it looks like we're at least on one frame of the animation of her sticking her head out. So we have the original, which is too bright, exposed, it's a character that seems to be covered in scales, some kind of magical creature um, sticking her head out of the water. After we added some elements, yes I added my own dark elements to her, which is how I paint, this is my style, this is the theme that I like to revisit, but um, if you really wanted it to be bright and sunny, um, and more of a magical thing. It kind of felt like it wasn't going in that direction for you. Because she has no eyebrows, very dark lips, deep black eyes, um, and it looked more like a dangerous nymph, or partially dangerous but curious because the eyebrows are angry. Do you see that? So you had, you were kind of leaning on the mysterious side already. The dark side, the, 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 the no, not everything is as it seems side. Um, so that's where I pulled all of these from. All the changes that I made around the mouth, why the lips look more three-dimensional now, why the nose looks more three-dimensional, all of that. This is stuff that I've covered time and time again in my channel. Um, it's in my master class. It's in all of the 14-day challenge critiques I've done for free on the channel on, on, in my channel. So it's everywhere. Um, but if you want to get a quick speed run of how to paint a face from front view, how to get at least to the level where your faces are a bit more three-dimensional, my masterclass covers all of that and you may be able to still get it for the sale price if, if you can beat me to it before I go to my website right after class and, um, and disable the sale. Um, but uh, yeah, before, I mean, uh, before, after, and then this is with her head under the water. I think it looks more playful. I think it looks more intriguing. I think it looks a little bit more on the, you know, to theme, uh, which is a girl kind of, a, a nymph or whatever she is, sticking her head out of the water, watching her pursuer as they watch her. All right. And this could be the scene right after where she emerges from the water. It could be what you wanted to do. It's your choice, really how you want to do it. She's kind of just playing peekaboo with us now. Before, after, and this option. Thank you everyone for coming. I really appreciate you guys coming out to the live streams. It means the world. <clears throat> I wish my art was as good. I still need to work on shadows and shading. My channel is here for you to answer that. All right, so you, if you guys need help with that, my channel has all the knowledge I have 
and all the knowledge I forgot, right? So there's a lot of stuff that I've forgotten how to do and I visit my own channel to figure out how I do it. Um, so it's, 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 it's there, it's waiting for you guys to watch. Um, I'm really upset about how little views I am getting lately, but that's okay. It's an educational channel, I understand, but please start liking my videos. I mean, it's just a click. Give me a click. Give your girl a click. I've been giving you guys more than a click for a decade, so please give me some clicks. Um, give me a like. Smash that like button or whatever the hell it is they say. Because uh, I think it helps my channel out if you I think maybe, I don't know, it might help my channel. Um, to join on critique hour how do i how do you critique my work how do i get you to critique my work it's the back go to instabrack.com and click on the subreddit icon right here that'll take you to the subreddit where everything that happens happens all right this is the mecca of the community please join us on discord hang with us watch movies with us draw with us game with us it's it's part of keeping the community alive we've met so many amazing people um and uh it's just turning into a huge huge family uh, so please join us there and that's it my portrait studio is what I used today to build this reference Which is basically why today's class was possible. Um, and that's also on my store as well um, And along with my master class link if you can please consider joining as a $1 patron it, it gets the channel Backed it keeps the channel backed. It keeps everything possible like I've been sick for a month um, and I took a pause from everything. That's why patrons are there. They, they really keep an eye out over the channel and that's why my number one, uh, the $1 and the most important tier at the moment is the $1 tier because it's the tier that's, the, that's behind all other tiers. It's the hidden tier. It doesn't really ask much of you, but, and it's an untraceable amount, but together it's a, it can be a huge amount if you all join in. Um, so that will really keep the channel going for a very, very long time. It's been free knowledge for a decade, and all I'm asking for is just a, to join as a watcher on Patreon. That's it. Um, announcements go out to patrons, and you guys get the full recording of today's class, not the clipped version, which is going public on YouTube. So please consider joining as a dollar patron. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you guys, guys on Thursday, hopefully, if my health allows. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine by Thursday. Um, and look out on the subreddit community for the upcoming holiday challenge. So in December, I'm only going to be critiquing for around maybe two weeks of December, around the week of the 12th. I'm gone until the first week of January or so. So for another month and a half, um, we will have a challenge. I'll be hosting a challenge very soon. Uh, look out for that on the subreddit. Bye guys.